misty, foggy start for many of us, then brightening up to be a nice day. The outlook, though, turns unsettled. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday. But yesterday, Susanna. <laughs> <laughs> you put on a good face. <laughs> you know, one thing people have been asking me lately, I think it's the time of day that we have sunrise and sunset. Coming to work, they'll have noticed within the last week how it suddenly feels so much darker. And at this time of year, we lose around about three and a half minutes of daylight. It actually doesn't sound like much, but within a week, it's nearly half an hour. So we're losing about wow. half an hour of daylight at the moment. Ken, we'll notice oh. our correspondence will be in glorious daylight because the clocks will go back an hour. Yeah, but good morning to you. So we've had a fair bit of rain around lately and with light winds overnight, it's given rise to mist and fog developing this morning. No warnings in force for the fog, but it is down to 100 metres in a few areas, so slow going on the roads. So just allow some extra time and space if you're driving through central and eastern areas of England this morning. The radar show. Good morning to you. Now, first thing this morning, we'll notice a fair bit of mist and fog around because the winds are light. High pressure is close by, but that moves away in the next few days low pressure comes in and all you need to know is that weather fronts will come in thick and fast with spells of rain so a real change in our weather as we head through the next few days so make the most of the drier weather we have for the next few yes fog first thing but it clears and there'll be plenty of bright spells with just a few showers so this is how it looks first thing this morning on the latest satellite and radar image radar showing it's largely dry satellite showing cloudier skies in the north but in the south that is where we have our mist and fog it's slow going on some roads visibility just 100 meters in a few areas so just allow extra time and space while you're driving but then it lifts and clears and then light winds sunny spells and temperatures very nice indeed 14 or 15 in the north 16 or 17 in the south which is just a little above average so with the sunshine that feels very pleasant indeed but you can see lurking behind me rain and that heads in later this week so let's take a look at our outlook and see how things pan out so we look at our trend in temperatures and our trend in how likely we are to see wet weather so let's look at our temperatures first of all across the north of the UK the white line in the middle is average where we should be for the time of year and our temperatures are above the line, so it's fairly mild for the rest of the weekend into next week as well. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK, largely dry today and tomorrow, but it is Friday and just in time for the weekend. Those weather fronts from the Atlantic move in, bringing outbreaks of rain. Now, fortunes by the south of England and Wales for the next seven days. Again, the white line, our average temperature, and it is above for the next few days, sitting around about average into next week. Now, today and tomorrow, percentage chance of rainfall is low. It's largely fine and dry. Highest chance of seeing some wet weather in the south is on Friday with heavy showers around. Then it slowly turns drier as we head through the weekend into next week as well. So foggy to start today and then rain by the end of the week.